Hey, what's up? I'm Sean T. And I'm Scott Blocker. And this is How We Dad. We just finished working here at the Transformation Center. He just got done sweating with insanity. Still and I just sweating. got done an Instagram Live. But now we got to go let the babysitter go so we can dad it up. Let's go. Let's dad. And we meet the boys. Sometimes they're inside and today they're outside. We could not dad unless we had help and we have an amazing helper. But now we have to let the babysitter go because if we don't let her go, we got to pay her more. <laughs> right guys? And she won't come back. Right guys? One of my tips to parents is that the more you get your kids outside and out of the house, the better off you are because every single thing stimulates their mind from an airplane to the moon to clouds anything stimulates their mind and the more they actually i think i think kids actually um created the term cabin fever <laughs> because the more confined they are the more stressful you're going to be i personally feel like there should be no reason any parent should gain weight you want to know why because you have the opportunity to eat healthy every day. And secondly, your kids have so much energy, just play with them and have fun. You're gonna burn more calories than you do walking at three miles an hour on a treadmill. So what, what part of our dad routine is to come home from work, play with them a little bit, and then start our bath around 5.30. And as you can tell, someone is very excited to hop into the bath. And so we just heat up some water, put in some soap. I know, you wanna get in? Bath? Say bath. So what we do is we'll wash Sander or Silas first and then do the other one. And you love it, right buddy? His happy place. Literally, when we pull him out, hell will break loose. We choose to do it in the sink because it's better for our backs. Uh, we have a bathtub upstairs but uh, we end up spending so much time hunched over the bath that it actually really hurts. And now that the boys weigh a lot more, it's tough to pull them out. Bath time is done, and now it's time for dinner. And they're very hungry. Mmm. Mmm. So you don't always have to cook, which we do. Most of the time we'll cook cauliflower rice, broccoli rice, but sometimes when you have a really long day, you find the healthiest takeout there is. And for us, it's Chipotle because they have guacamole, they have, uh, what is it, rice? Yes, and black beans. Mm -hmm. Guacamole, rice, and black beans. You can't go wrong. It fills them up and they'll sleep really, really good. Routine is very important. Your kids are gonna be crazy during the witching hour, but for us, we know they're gonna be crazy around bath time and when we get home, but we also know that when we feed them, life is gonna be grand. Over here is the book corner, and we started reading the books the day they came home from the NICU, and we've never missed a day. And the book corner, I've actually turned into a librarian, and I'm totally fine with that but they come over here at random times throughout the day and grab a book and they are in heaven. That's why we think they speak so well and when we go out in public, they pick out things that they see in the book. It's really awesome. Now it is bedtime and we're gonna put on our pajamas and change our last diaper of the night and they're gonna go down like rock stars, right? But first, I'm gonna go like this. Whee! Okay, here we go. Diaper. Wee! Wee! It's time to go to bed. Say goodnight to brother. Say goodnight to brother. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Good night, buddy. Mm. Remember that? Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, so we always end the day with a high five because it's always good to come together at the end of the day as parents. But a now, long day. A very long day. But now we gotta go clean up and then we're gonna have a drink. Drink. Let's go. Bye.